in a hashtag ask j things 2k q and a what is english i don't know what to call this video video oh my gosh there's so many questions <laughs> Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with my 2K Q&A video. I asked you guys to ask me a bunch of questions, anything you wanted, so that I could make a Q&A video because I recently hit 2,000 subscribers, which is now like 2,200 of you, and that just blows my mind. So thank you guys so much. It just blows my mind that so many of you actually watch my videos and give a shit about little old me. I'm gonna try to like rapid fire through these questions. I haven't actually read any of them since I got them, which was like two weeks ago, so I don't remember what any of them are. So if my answers are interesting that's why but without further ado let us get started <sighs> my first question is from I am not a worm is that what is the current lock screen picture on your phone and my current lock screen picture is me and my little boyfriend Ricardo that's him I'll put up like an actual the actual picture like here he's like the cutest thing ever so like my heart smiles every time I open my phone is that cheesy that's so cheesy Ugh, gross couples hate them. The next question I got is from Justin Fox. Hi Justin, I love you, you're like the sweetest. So his question is not book related, but what are your top three favorite movies? <laughs> my favorite movie that's like a kid movie is The Lion King. And my favorite like adult movie. It's like a satire movie, so like it's not good quality. But it's white chicks. I love it. It is so stupid, which makes it so great. I have like a lot of other like I would say favorite movies, but they're like movies that I watch all the time. They're like the ones that I go to if I just want to watch a movie. Friends with Benefits. Hocus Pocus, Practical Magic, Seventeen Again, like... They're all terrible movies, but I love them. The next question is from Caroline Thomas, and it's, what countries did you visit, and what countries would you like to go to? I've been to a lot of places, because I used to go on cruises, so I've been to... Jamaica, Mexico, Cuba, St. Martin, St. Thomas, Canada, obviously, because, like, I live here, the States... I've been to a couple of states for basketball. I would love to go to Paris, France. That's like my dream. And I really want to go to Australia. And then my next question is from Sandy Reads a lot. She says, congrats on 2K. If you were to write a book, what genre would it be? What is an author that you would love to meet the most? Okay, if I were to write a book, which will never happen because with my luck, I would end up writing something that I totally already read before and think that I'm being like so original and then they might hit me with that copyright and I'd be like, <laughs> true. I think if I were to write something, it would be in the like thriller genre. I love thrillers and I want like good thrillers in the world, which I probably could not provide, but we could try. Like I want to be able to like write like Gillian Flynn. Because her thrillers are always great. I love her books. And the second part of the question is what author would I like to meet? I would love to meet Marissa Meyer. I love her so much and I just want to like pick a brain. I would love to meet Ellen Hopkins. I love her books. I would love to meet Louise Renison. But like that's not gonna happen because she passed away, but like love her. I would love to meet Sophia Elaine Hansen. Because I just feel like she is such a little sweetheart and I love her books and I just want to like squeeze her and her and her boyfriend are the cutest things ever and they're like OTP and you better come along if I ever get to meet them. Like they need to come together so that I can meet them both and just like fangirl over their cuteness. Hi, Sophia, if you're watching this, you're so cute. The next couple of questions are from Julia from Julia Sapphire. She's a fellow Canadian, so like, love it. The question is current show you're watching. I'm actually not watching any shows right now. I watched Riverdale. I really like that show. I really like reality TV shows that are like set in jail, so like 60 Days In. If you have not seen that show, you guys should watch 60 Days In. It's so good. What are the top three favorite books that you've read this year? I've read 62 books so far, so I'm just gonna do the three that come to my head first. So, It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I just read that book in like five out of five stars. I loved that book. Radio by Sophia Elaine Hansen. I really like The Diviners by Libba Bray. So those are gonna be my top three because those are the first three that come to my head. The next questions are from Cindy Tripera. She asked, what superpower would you ha love to have? I would love to be able to read people's minds. Because I just, I want to be able to know what people are thinking because I do not like the whole mind game thing where like people tell you one thing but they actually mean the other thing and if I could read minds I could be like, ah, liar, this is actually what you're thinking. Do not lie to me. And it would be so useful in my opinion. She also asked if I had three wishes, what would you wish for? Can I wish for more wishes? Is that allowed? I don't know. I would wish for like puppies. Like so many puppies in my life. I would ask for like unlimited money because then I could buy more puppies and unlimited books. I would wish for my mom to always be in my life and like never die. Like immortality. Me and her, immortal. That's all I want. Just me and my mom. That's all I need. Next questions are from Jenna Bookhaven and she asked if I'm planning to take the sorting quiz for the Ilvermory house. Sure, I will do that. Soon. The next questions are from CJ Campbell and he is asking, have you started back at basketball? If not, at what age would be considered too old for you to get back into it? Is there a cutoff date? 
If you don't know, I got a concussion last year and I wasn't allowed to play basketball anymore. But no, I have not gotten back into it. I never went back to the doctor to get cleared and I wasn't allowed to play on the varsity team because of my concussion, so I just haven't been back and I haven't played other than like recreationally once in a while. I don't know if there would be a cutoff day. I don't think there would be, but I just, I just don't play anymore. I also asked if I am now a Harry Potter convert. Yes, I am. I love Harry Potter and I am jumping on the bandwagon hard. He also asked if Harry Potter is living up to my expectations. I honestly didn't really have any expectations going into it because I was like, I don't really care about this series. I'm only reading it because people are telling me I have to, but it's probably exceeded my very low expectations. I haven't even started the third book yet, so like I can't really say that it's like the best series I've ever read because I haven't finished the series, but it's a good one. They also asked if my genre of books I'm reading is ever going to change and what genres have I not yet read or likely to never read. I'm really into thrillers. I don't think that's ever going to change. I would rather pick up a thriller than any other genre. I also read contemporary, but like not as often as thrillers. A genre I'm most likely not to read is nonfiction. I never pick up nonfiction, I just find it boring. I also asked if I'm ever going to change my intro jingle. Well, because in the UK the hot weather is now on us and he keeps expecting to see the ice cream van outside. No, I probably will never change my jingle. If you haven't seen like one of my first videos where the ice cream truck drove by, that's kind of where the whole jingle thing came from and I just, it's kind of like my thing now. The next questions I got are from Alyssa from Pucks and Paperbacks. So what is one book you'd like to be able to read again for the first time? I'm gonna say The Lunar Chronicles because I just love those books so much and just like experiencing that whole world again would be super fun and I would enjoy it I'm sure the next question I got is from Kelsey Lee Reads and she's asking if I'm a cat or a dog person I love them both but I would say I'm probably a dog person because literally anytime I see a dog I cry and I don't know if that's sad or not but it happens my next question is from Sarah is really random and she asked if you could master one skill that you don't already have what would it be I would love to sing like actually be able to sing because like I sing all the time but I sound like a dying cat so like it's probably not pleasant for people so if I could actually sing and people actually liked it when things came out of my mouth then that would be fun I would enjoy that and then my mom asked two questions hi mom I love you and she asked food or coffee or sleep and that is just a mean question because you know that I would rather just do all three at once so I'm not even gonna answer that so hmm probably food she says tough one for you if you could have one do over in life so far what would it be Oh god, this is a heated question. Why you gotta do this to me, mom? Like, what are you doing? <sighs> I'm gonna go deep on this shit. I would say uh, dating my first boyfriend because he caused so many problems in my life and so many problems with my mom and just everything about him was just a no. So I'm going with him and um, I'm sure you like that answer, mom, because we don't like him in this household. <laughs> then my mom asked another question. Last questions were YouTube questions so now we're on to twitter so she asked more questions on twitter because she loves me and just needs me to feel validated so it was like i didn't not get any questions she asked what is the best amusement park ride to get stuck on leviathan is the biggest roller coaster that we have in canada i think at least it is in ontario so it's like super duper high so like getting stuck on the very top of it would be so cool because you could see everything so i'm gonna say that but i mean it would suck because like what if you're stuck on the down and then you're just like hanging there and you're stuck that would suck but if you're in the back and stuck at the very top then it'll be fun the next question i got was from Haley from these book lions and she asked if you were in space and found a new planet and could only name the planet after a name in the book you're currently reading what would it be i'm currently reading a kiss in time by alex flynn so um the only characters that have come up are talia and jack oh can i name it after like a city in the book? Because then it's like eu Euphorcia? Euphorcia? I can't even pronounce it, but Euphorcia is what we're going with. That's my planet's name. And then she also asked, fave Harry Potter character so far. I'm going with Dobby. I haven't gotten to the point where he is killed. I know it's coming. Spoiler. You've probably read Harry Potter. You know that. But apparently he dies, so I'm going to be heartbroken. If, if I can't say Dobby because he passes away, can you not say a character who dies? I don't know. Is that a rule? I'm going with Hagrid. I love Hagrid. The next question is from Traveling Through Words, and she asks, what's your full name? My full name is Jayanne. Nobody calls me that, but um, that's it. Everybody calls me Jay because it, nobody can pronounce Jayanne, which is not that hard because it's literally Jay and Anne shoved together. Literally, it's two names in one. Like, it's not that hard, but anytime I tell people my name, it doesn't, it doesn't work. So I just introduce myself as Jay now. It's easier. Traveling Through Words also asked me your all-time favorite book. I can't do this. I can't pick favorites. I have, I have issues with picking favorites because I just feel like a bad person for picking favorites. Can I say a series? Can I say The Lunar Chronicles is my favorite series? I honestly don't know what my favorite book is. The Night Film by Marisha Pacell. I really like that one. I really like Vinyl by... Sophia Lane Hansen. I really liked The Infernal Devices by Cassandra Clare. See, like, I can't pick favorites. I just, I panic. I don't like it. I don't, I do not like it. Sam I am. I do not like it. Green eggs and ham. So the next question I got is from Jan Rodrigue. And I would like to point out that Jan is so close to Jan, and that makes me so happy. So hello, fellow Jan, even though your name is not Jan, we're going with it. He asked, which popular city country do you have no interest in visiting? Oh, but I want to go everywhere. I, I don't know. 
I don't want to go back to Jamaica. When I went there, I was like 12, and the people there were really like creepy to me. Like they would like come up and try to like take me away from my parents. So like not into that, but like I'm older now, so it probably wouldn't happen and it wouldn't be as scary, but I'm just gonna go with Jamaica so I have an answer for this question. Got a question from Britt. She asked, if you could only read one book for the rest of your life, which would it be? See, that's so hard because I don't reread books. Like, I have a, this thing where I just don't reread books. I'm going to go with The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern because I feel like if you read that book repeatedly, you would catch something different every single time. Probably very wrong because I've never reread a book before. But we're going to go with that. And the next question is from a guy and his books, and he asked me if you could take any character from any book to any land in any book, where would you go and who would you take? That's such an interesting question. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to say that I, I want to take Captain Thorn from the Lunar Chronicles. Because I love him so much. And I'm going to take him to... Where should we go? Oh god. This is too much pressure. Ugh. Can I say Paris? Is that allowed? Like, it's a real place, but Anne and the French Kiss is set in Paris, so, and it's like a romantic city, and like, I want to be romantic with Captain Thorne, so we're going with uh, Captain Thorne in Paris. It's a like, clue. Captain Thorne in Paris with the rose. Next, like, a million questions are from Dylan, from Dylan the Reader. Hi, Dylan. I love you so much. And he says, where do babies come from? Well, Dylan, when two people love each other, they uh, do the, the kissy kissy, and the baby baby is born. He also asks, what's your favorite time of the day to pee? Yeah. Uh, right when I wake up so I don't pee my pants. What lipstick do you wear? Uh, right now I'm wearing the NYX lipstick that I talked about in my favorites video that I cannot remember the name of. He also asked, tacos or burgers? I'm defriending you if you pick the wrong one. Tacos, I hate burgers. And he also asked, Mary kiss, kill Harry, Ron, and Hermione. I'm going to kill Hermione because if you've seen my Harry Potter videos, I hate Hermione. I am going to kiss Ron because he's adorable and I'm going to marry Harry because he's the chosen one and that means he's probably going to be rich and a trophy wife. Also asked, how are you so fit? Um, running. I'm not really that fit anymore though, so like, uh, this is awkward. He also asked, why are you so obsessed with me? Because I love you. And I think those are all the questions from Dylan, so that was like rapid, rapid fire. The next questions are from Elizabeth Morris. Which character in a book would you relate to the most on your love slash dating life? Why and how so? Okay, so currently, if you saw the first like minute of this video, I'm dating a boy named Ricardo and he is a little baby angel unicorn and he's like the sweetest human being ever. So, so I'm going to go with Levi from Fangirl. So I guess I would relate to Kath from Fangirl because she's dating Levi. But like, ugh, sweetest boy in the entire world. So going with Levi, he's my own little Levi. Could also be Levi from The Color Project because he is also a little baby angel unicorn. I just apparently like the Levi's, so I'm changing Ricardo's name to Levi, so that's his name now. Please refer to him as Levi. She also asked if I could possibly vlog more this summer. I could. If you guys want vlogs, let me know down below and I'll do some vlogs for you. The next question is from Jill from Midnight Read. What book cover describes your personality? Also, what's your favorite fruit? My favorite fruit is raspberry. The book cover that describes my personality. Oh god, there's too many books to choose from. Why do you guys put me under pressure? Something really bright and colorful because I feel like I'm pretty bubbly, so like... <laughs> What's a bright book? I'm gonna say the Anna and the French Kiss, Lola, and Isla. All in one? Can that be a thing? Because they're like super bright books. I'm gonna say that. The next question is from Kate Parks, and she asked me my favorite animal, lion. She asked me a fuck, Mary kill, Ace, Will, and Reese. So, I haven't read the, um, Akbatar. That's where Reese is from, right? So, I'm gonna kill him because, like, I don't know who he is. I'm going to marry Will because I'm gonna say that that's Will Herondale and, like, love him. And I guess that means I would fuck Jace, and um, I'm okay with that. The next question is from Jazz, and she asks, who are the best people you've met because of BookTube? I haven't actually met anybody in person from BookTube, which I am so sad about. I'm going to say if I had met them in real life, whatever. Dylan from Dylan the Reader 5. I love him so much. He's such a cutie. Molly from Magical Molly. I love her so, so much. And then my final question that I got is from Gabby, and she asks, have you got any plans for the summer? My only plans for summer is working and hanging out with my boyfriend and my mom because that's my social life. I'm a boring person. Like, I don't have a life. I, I plan on getting a tattoo. Two of them, actually. So, that's another plan with my mom getting a tattoo. Alright guys, so this video is probably really, really long. I'm gonna try to edit it to shorten it, but I'm sorry if it's like 20 minutes long. Thank you guys so much again for 2,000 subscribers. Like, still blows my mind. I love you all. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!